Hey, it's hero time. I'm scared as hell of Echo, to be totally honest. She has a ton of high damage abilities, and they're all very quick. It's worth noting that game director Jeff Kaplan has said her balance is still subject to change, so please remember everything in this breakdown is as she hit PTR, never patch, first impressions. Alright, let's go. Echo's left click is the try shot. As the name implies, she fires three shots of energy in a triangle pattern. This is a pretty tight spread and deals high damage at close and medium range. She can fire 15 bursts before a very short reload. Her right click is throwing a cluster of sticky bombs. These are a few explosives that will stick to players, the environment, or shields, and they will all detonate at the same time a few seconds after being placed. It's worth noting that if they're stuck on a shield and the shield disappears, they'll fall in place, but still detonate. They aren't much individually, but when all stuck to the same player, these bombs can do massive damage and even kill most of the squishier roster. Her shift ability is Flight. Tapping it gives Echo a quick forward dash, useful for closing the distance for her close range abilities. At the end of the dash, she gains 3 seconds of free flight, similar to what Mercy and Sigma have in their ultimate abilities. At any point after the initial dash, Echo can press shift a second time to cancel the free flight and start this ability's cooldown early. By holding down space, Echo will gently glide from where she is. This combos greatly with her shift ability, and you can cancel the flight to do an easy slingshot as well. It is somewhat similar to Mercy's glide, but you need a certain height threshold, unlike Mercy who can trigger the glide at any height. Echo also descends a little bit faster than Mercy. Echo's E ability is called Focusing Beam. Echo fires a Kamehameha that deals 50 damage per second, which also works against shields. Regardless of what your target is, shields, deployables, or players, they'll take 200 damage per second instead of 50 if they're below half of their max HP when your beam connects. Starting to, starting to see why I'm getting a little scared here. Now for the big one. Echo's ultimate ability is called Duplication. Echo can scan an enemy hero and transform into them for 15 seconds. You'll have the full health and all the abilities of the hero you copy. While you are a duplicate, you gain ultimate charge at 650% of the normal charge rate. No, I didn't stutter. Six, five, zero. Well, this already sounds strong, there's more to it. When Echo's health as a duplicate reaches zero, or if her timer runs out, she turns back into Echo with all of her health and cooldowns restored. She does not die if she is killed as a duplicate. We're not done yet though, there's still more! While she's copying an enemy, that player cannot change heroes for the duration of the copy. They're locked out of hero swaps for up to 15 seconds. The saving grace to this is positive status effects Echo may have, like nano, boost, armor, or health boosts, do not carry over with her between transformations. Echo also cannot duplicate an enemy Echo, or a hero that already has the duplication in play. So if the enemy duplicates your allied Winston, you cannot duplicate their Winston until the enemy copy runs out, if they have one. The potential this ability has overall is unreal, and I'm absolutely terrified of it. This is the first thing I expect to be nerfed in SOME way after this video goes up. So that's Echo. What do you think? Are you terrified of her like I am, or do you think she'll be fun to fight against as well as play as? Let us know! And don't forget to subscribe so you can catch us next time. Till then, don't forget to spread the happy and stay rusty.